For event number 5, we were treated to this huge level by Sulmas. It actually turned out to be many people's favorite level so far. You'll start here at the top of the level and then quickly make your way to either of these two apples first. And then once you grab both of these apples, you make your way to the bottom part of the level where you have three more apples and then the flower in the middle. And the level, as you can see, consists of very many small hangs and islands everywhere. So it's going to be about precision and timing your jumps and fly perfectly throughout the level so you don't get stuck or lose your speed anywhere. You can either start by coming out to the left here, grab this apple first, come all the way back to the right, maybe loop around here, use this hang and then drop down to the bottom part of the level. And then of course you can do the complete opposite. You can maybe start down here, use this loop, grab the right apple first, come back up all this way for the left apple and then either maybe drop down here or continue right a little bit and drop down at a later stage. And then you ask me why are you doing this loop in the beginning here? Well there is this killer right here that you would have to dodge if you want to make this shortcut and also you have a really small platform to land on after. So it might be a little bit tricky to jump straight down here and instead you would use this loop. And then moving on, once you get to the bottom part of the level you have three more apples and one way to do it is you would come down here maybe and bounce from this platform up here up grab this apple maybe do this loop come back below here and grab this apple up to the left kind of push into this hang come down grab this last apple and then go to the flower or another option would also be to come down here but instead of bouncing over you grab this apple first and come back to the left up grab this one and then maybe down through the hang or up on these polygons here and somehow make your way back towards the right up maybe use this hang, grab this apple and then jump straight for the flower. So although the level looks really big and complicated, in the end I think you have basically two main styles for the top part and two main styles for the bottom part and it's gonna come down to how well you can execute those. And starting out from the bottom as always, we're gonna see higher times than usual, it's gonna be like a minute long level as you can tell. And in 50th place we have Zebra! Funny seeing him here, I haven't seen him in a long time actually, so it's gonna be really fun to check out his 103.19. Zebra's replay. Is it gonna go for the right hand or left hand apple first? Looks like the right hand and looks like he goes for this killer dodge. He does it immediately, lets the killer go through the body and then comes out here to the right hand apple. Really clean start so far and then working his way up to the left hand apple. Even gets a tiny gas on that polygon there. And let's see the turn here. Is it gonna go straight down or is it gonna continue a little bit out to the right? Looks like it doesn't go for the first drop and then... Yeah, comes down here for this kind of middle drop of these three different ways you can take down here. And then coming up for this middle apple here, will it continue to the right or will it go back towards the left? Maybe not the cleanest turn there actually, but it uh, looks like he's going to come back for this uh, left hand apple first, going into this hang. And then from this apple it's really tricky to like get into this next hang, but he does it really cleanly. Coming in here for this kind of triple hang in a row. And then uh, coming down here, gathering all that speed to go for the right hand apple. Gonna collect it and then it's just straight to the flower, avoid hitting your head here, beautiful. And coming in for a 103.19. Really nice run by Zebra, we could see a few places maybe where it could improve a little bit, but the style in general looks really solid. We're working our way up, we're going towards the 40th place where we have... Immo. Immo coming in at a 101.83, improving a little bit more than a second on Zebra's time. But we can tell already that it's really tight here. We normally don't see like a second difference in 10 places down here. And also for this long of a level, that's really impressive. Let's see Immo style. Is it going to be the same kind of killer dodge in the beginning? Uh, looks like it is a killer dodge, but a little bit different kind of drop there actually. Can get a little bit more rightwards momentum with that style. Grabs his first apple at 10.57. I want you to remember that time. And uh, coming here towards the left hand apple, grabbing it, and is it gonna go straight down for the first drop? Looks like it's the first drop. So already we're seeing two kind of distinctly different styles here. And uh, coming around here, which style is it gonna do then when it comes down? Is it gonna go for the right hand part first or the left hand? Let's see, comes down here. Doesn't look to be a bounce, just goes straight for this middle apple and comes back towards the left. Which style is faster, his or Zebra's? It's really hard to tell. Comes up for this apple. And then goes straight with a drop into this one wheel hang here. Beautiful timing on that drop. Comes in for the hang. Coming around here. Really hard this part to not lose your speed anywhere or get stuck. Comes up here, grabs the last apple. And then again, avoid your head. And coming up for the flower at 101.83. And already we've seen two slightly different kind of starts. We saw Zebra going like straight down here across the killer. And then jumping from this platform out to the apple. 
Whereas Immo did a more straight down drop here, got a push from here, still dodged the killer, but got a little bit more rightwards momentum maybe. And then also from this apple, we saw Zebra jumping this first gap and then dropping straight down here to come up for this middle apple. Whereas we saw Immo from this apple come straight down to this kind of part of the level and then instead jumped out to this middle platform and got the apple. That allowed him to get more speed backwards because he could use this kind of loop here. But it also meant he had to zigzag here, which might have lost him a little bit of time. Interesting stuff and already really hoiled times. But let's see, in 30th place, we're breaking the one minute barrier and we have Terbo. Terbo with a beautiful 59.24 breaking that minute barrier. And again, it's just so tight these times already. It's really amazing to me. Let's see Terbo, will he also go down for the killer drop? Looks like it. Nice push, can get a lot of speed down here. And dodges the killer beautifully, can gas even. And let's see, grabs his apple at 9.43. Way lower, more than a second faster than Emo actually. And let's see, can gas a little bit on this polygon here. And beautiful jump early to be able to stop immediately when he grabs the apple. Coming down here, is he gonna go for the middle drop like Zebra? Looks actually like he will go for the third drop down. Let's see, coming down here, getting it past that spike, really annoying to do. Coming up here has a lot of speed for this loop, so he can use all of that speed coming back towards this left-hand apple. Coming up for the hang here, and let's see how he's gonna grab the apple and drop down. Looks like it's the same kind of straight down drop like Emo did. Going in for this one wheel hang here, and again, it's really hard to stay up on these hangs. It's really, it's kind of hard to see when you're just seeing the replay, but that part killed a lot of runs. Let's see, coming up, grabbing this last apple, Avoids hitting the head, but can guess a lot on that last polygon. And comes in for the flower touch. Beautiful run by Terbo. And again, we saw like a variant of Zebra start, but he got a nice push from the bottom of this polygon to get even faster down and just got out to this apple. And of course, from this apple, instead of dropping down at the first part like Imo did, or at the second part like Zebra did, he went straight out here to the third drop and kind of pushed from here, avoiding this spike that sticks up and comes in with a beautiful, with a lot of speed for this turn. And all of these styles are within four seconds of each other in a minute long level. And let's see, coming up towards 20th place, See some familiar names as always, and in 20th place we have Orc. And interestingly, at 5766, so a pretty significant drop considering the other times were already really hoiled. Let's see, is it gonna be the same killer dodging in the beginning? Looks like it, he gets a nice push on the bottom there as well, just like Turbo did. And beautiful compression so he can guess all the way on that polygon. Grabbing this first apple at 934, even faster. And let's see, good gas on this polygon here. Comes up for this turn, which drop is gonna go for- Oh, and a beautiful bounce actually! And comes up for the first drop! Let's see, dodges this polygon here that sticks out and coming down. It's really crazy to me to see all these different styles and so close in time. And coming down for this middle kind of drop. Looks like, it, yeah, it's gonna grab the middle apple and come back to the left. So the bottom part has been the same for everybody. But coming up here, how he's gonna do this drop down into the hang. Nice, gets a good push from the ceiling into a- Two wheel hang actually. We've seen mostly one wheel hangs here. A little bit different kind of like disembarking from those hangs. As I told you, it's really hard to get that part good. Coming up here, avoiding the head, gassing all the way to the end, and getting the flower. Really beautiful stuff by Orc. And again, I mean, it's so crazy to me that now we see a third option where again, it's faster to come down this part and go for the middle kind of part here. I'm really confused as to which style is faster here. And let's see. We see some other familiar names. We see Gimp here. I haven't seen him in a long time. Me and Eldron coming in at uh, 57 low, both of us. Again, Eldron did all the style finding for us this event. So huge thanks to him. And moving our way up, we have Yali, Arsenic, Hosp, Adi. Already in 12th place. This is surprising. We see Mikkel in 11th place. Jesus, we're already down to 55. In 10th place, we have... Pelu. The winner of the first event claims the 10th place in event number 5, 5581. We've basically improved more here in these last 10 placements than we did in the first 20 or something. Hello, I guess we're gonna see the killer up again. I think that is the fastest style for this start at least. Let's see. Beautiful dodge. Can guess. Does it like high jump here and go straight into this bottom here? Maybe he can keep a bit more downwards momentum like that, but he also gets a little bit less of gassing towards the right. Let's see. Beautiful jump here, comes in for a very quick turn at this left hand apple. And let's see, does not go down for the for the first drop, goes for this third drop, avoiding this stick that sticks out. Loses a little bit of speed there, gets a tiny bit of snag on the top of that polygon. Comes in for this middle apple, and let's see, gonna drive up towards the left. Is it gonna be the same kind of push we've seen from the ceiling? Is it gonna go into a two wheel or a one wheel hang? Nice push, and let's see, it is a two wheel hang, and again, this part looks really easy, but it was really hard to time those vaults right to get out cleanly. 
And coming up here towards the last apple, really beautiful run by Pelo, barely avoids the head there. A nice jump and securing his 10th place in this event. And again, now we have another contender for going for this third drop here. So we have two in the third drop, two in the first drop, one in the middle. Which is fastest? I have no idea. But let's make our way to fifth place and maybe we can figure it out. Let's see. In ninth place we have Andre. Andre is showing up a lot in the top 10 in this cup, doing really well. We have Jason with an impressive eighth place. We have Sveiner coming in at seventh place. I've seen him lurking around like 10th place a lot in this cup. So really fun to see him breaking into that seventh place. We have Ramon in 6th place, beautiful showing by Ramon. I know he hurt his finger from hoiling too much, but it seems like it at least was enough to get him a 6th place in this event. And in 5th place we have JT. JT is kind of on and off during this cup, I feel. In some events he doesn't even show and then all of a sudden in 5th place. But really beautiful stuff, 55-34, so you can tell now we're getting into these hoil times again. Not much improvement between each place, so every tenth of a second counts. And here we have JT's replay. Let's see. Good push from the first polygon, dodges this killer, gets some gas on that polygon, doesn't go for this kind of long jump that we saw some people doing. Nice, grabbing this first apple, keeping good gas, and does not jump to gas on that top polygon, instead goes low, coming in for this left hand apple, and uh, which drop is it gonna be? Does not go for the first drop, looks like he gathers speed to go for this last drop here, nice lean back to go low there. Coming in, uses this stick to go straight into this drop here, coming in for the middle apple, and so far, I guess now we have a majority going for the third uh, kind of drop down. Let's see, coming up here for this apple and just like hugging this corner to get a good push down. Two wheel hang, coming in for this. And yeah, does the same kind of vault rotations that we've seen a few people doing now. Coming up for this last apple, just keeping as much speed as you can. And again, pff, avoiding that head in the end, grabbing head first. Beautiful run by JT. And yeah, now maybe we're starting to see a trend where more and more people are starting to go for this third drop down. But uh, again, maybe it's too soon to tell. Regardless, in fourth place, we have... Mielts. Really nice to see the combo JT and Mielts again. We saw them so much in Boss Cup getting these top positions, so really fun to see them working together. And Mielts actually breaking 55 seconds and getting a 54.84. Let's see Mielts. It's probably gonna be the same style as JT. I Actually a different kind of stuff. What? And dodges the killer on the left side. I didn't think that was possible. Really beautiful stuff and goes for that long jump into the into the drop there. Let's see. It's really crazy. They're on the same team but do completely different starts. Let's see. Is it going to be the same main route? It looks like it. And yeah, beautiful lean back here as well to go low to just catch this wall and jump straight out. Beautiful drop here. Can gas a lot on this way down. And uh, coming in for this turn here. And uh, yeah, just really fun to see them doing different styles when they're on the same team. Coming up here for the left hand apple. Nice push down. Goes into a two wheel hang here as well. Probably going to be the same kind of vault rotation here. Looks like it. The first jump up to go down so you can gas as much as you can on that middle polygon to clear that gap. Coming up for this apple here. Nice avoiding the head. Coming up. Grabs the flower head first as well. So beautiful stuff by Miels and really interesting start that I think we only saw him doing so far. And as we're getting into the podium placements, I can't help but notice that we're lacking some certain team dot players. But let's see, in third place we have... Raven. Raven with a 54-17, improving more than half a second on Miels' time. And here we have Raven's run. Let's see the killer dodge, how it's gonna be. Looks like it's the kind of normal push down and just using this polygon here and... Actually does this long jump as well, skipping that last island completely and using that downwards momentum. Let's see, does not go high and gas on that polygon in the air either. Just comes straight in here, does this kind of double and a beautiful bounce to keep this speed going out to the right. Nice lean back as well. Really, really clean turn there at the left hand apple. And let's see, coming in for this drop can keep a lot of speed, very nice. I'm going for this like slight compression there as well so you can time your vaults even better. Coming up here for the hang and for the left hand apple. Gonna probably be the same, yeah, hugging that corner in the roof. Coming in, beautiful push for this two-wheel hang. Actually can get some speed out of that as well. Coming down here, nice gassing all the way. And then here it's just, yeah, keeping your momentum and avoid hitting your head on that corner. And it does it beautifully. Nice run by Raven. And yeah, now I'm getting nervous. We have one dot player in the top three. Let's see, in second place, we have... Bien! 
Jan beats out at least one of the team dot players because I would expect Spef and Finman to be here in the top as well. Bjan is in the same team as Mjelts and JT, so this is actually like a powerhouse of a team as well. Easily on par to compete with Team Dot. And breaking 54 seconds, getting a 53.89. And let's see, is he gonna do Mjelts' start, dodging the killer to the left? Or is he gonna do JT's start, which is just letting the killer pass through the body? And here's Bjan's replay and the second place for Team Spef. Let's see, and it's actually the Mjelts start. And I was never able to do this, and look how close he gets to the killer. It's actually a little bit closer than this would let you know, because the killer's area is actually a little bit bigger than the sprite is here. And then look how far out he lands on this polygon. It's like right on the corner. So you have to get as close as you can to the killer so you can actually even land on this polygon here. But let's see, continuing. He goes for this kind of long jump as well. Nice compression to get that height out of, uh, out of that landing. And uh, again, doesn't go high here. Goes really low so he can gas all the way. Goes for this double auto turn here. Actually, not even double auto. But uh, coming around here, nice lean back. Coming in, pushing from here, and also gonna get this like tiny stick here so you can drop straight down. Really beautiful stuff. Coming up here for the turn, nice tiny compression and push out there. It's really hard to survive that compression actually. And uh, coming up here, hugging and coming down, going in for a two-wheel hang as well. Nothing completely new right here. Does the same kind of vaulting rotation to get on early and gas all the way on that polygon. So you can also clear that next gap. Coming up here for this last hang, grabbing the apple and <sighs> it's just... This is just so close. It actually didn't kill that many runs, this part, but I mean, you can tell the back of his head, it's basically hitting <laughs> the corner. It's just like a few pixels away and it's right at the end. Beautiful stuff, also head first for some reason. Really beautiful stuff by Bian and Team Spef for finding those moves. And before we got into the podium, I would have expected maybe Raven, Spef and Finman from Team Dot to be in the top three. But since Bien claimed this second place, there can only be one of those players left, or maybe it's not even one of them. Let's see, in first place we have... Spef. Spef claims the first place again and keeping that lead in the cup overall, 53-50, beating Bien by almost 0.4 seconds actually. Let's check out the replay and see if he did anything different from Bien. And here we have Spef's winning replay, 53-50. And let's see, coming down here, going for the normal kind of killer dodge here. And actually goes for this long jump. That seems to have been the fastest style. Being able to keep that downwards momentum. And uh, coming up here. Going low as well. Not using that top polygon for extra gas. And coming in for this double auto turn. And a beautiful bounce to come around here. And then going for this last drop that you can do. The third one. Using the stick again. This is normal. This is what we've seen other people doing. And this turned out to be the fastest style. Coming around here. Up towards the left hand apple. And uh, just beautiful run so far. Hugging this corner here, probably gonna go, yeah, it's the same kind of double vault there that we saw Raven do. And I think that actually gains them a little bit of time and a little bit of speed, being able to use those pushes for extra speed. Coming up here for the last apple, and again, <laughs> just barely avoiding that corner and coming in for head first. Beautiful stuff by Spef, congratulations. Beautiful stuff by Team Dot and also by Team Spef. <laughs> I know this gets confusing, but uh, the team and the player are not the same thing. But since we saw some differences in the styles between Team Dot and Team Spef, let's merge these two replays between Spef and Bian and see how Team Dot managed to beat Team Spef and how Spef managed to win this event. Spef in the red shirt, Bian in the Swedish flag shirt. And let's see, they're both gonna do a little bit different start. We're gonna be following Spef here and I will actually do this in slow motion, but already we see Spef going in for this killer dodge through the body. It's really, it looks really neat when you see it. Bien clearing the killer to the side. Let's see, Bien can actually gas a lot on that polygon, and it looks like he's coming out a little bit ahead from that start. But uh, Spef might have gotten a little bit more height, so he might have a little bit more speed coming out of it. But actually, it looks like Bien is ahead. Spef catching up maybe a tiny bit, but Bien has the lead in the beginning here. And let's see, this turn, really nice by both players. But it looks like Spe Spef actually gets a little bit, maybe not faster turn per se, yeah, a little bit better bounce, but a better push here as well and can get a long way through that lean back. And Spef actually passes Bien here. Let's see this drop. This is also a key moment here. Once you get the stick here, if you keep this stick too long, your wheel will get stuck on this sticking out part and you're just going to be stuck and run is over. But if you keep it not long enough, you won't get enough rightwards momentum. So you can see here, Bien lands a little bit more out to the left than Spef because he kept that stick a little bit shorter time. And that actually makes his wheel lose traction where Spef can gas all the way down here. So Spef actually keeps a little bit more gassing 
And that's why you can see him pulling out a little bit ahead of Bien here, because he has a, just a tiny bit more speed after that drop as well. And let's see, here they did different styles as well. Spef coming in for this double auto, and that actually gives him that extra push. And you can see he already has a little bit more speed again. Doing this double auto during the drop is actually a really clever way to use that time where you would normally only be dropping and waiting, basically doing nothing. Instead you can add those auto's and once you hit that hang, those auto's will push you towards the right and that will actually give you rightwards momentum. So you can see he does these two auto vaults here and Bien just falls normally and that push here actually gives him a little bit of rightwards momentum when he hits that hang. That actually just gives him more speed coming out of it. And then they did the same kind of style here at the bottom, but yeah, Spef just keeping that extra speed all the way throughout. And then both coming in here for this corner dodge, really beautiful stuff. And then, uh, yeah, Spef just keeping that lead that he got in the middle and towards the end. And using the head first here is actually, if you don't go head first here, your front wheel, if you can look in Bien's picture, would actually hit this polygon where Spef's front wheel is hitting the polygon now. So by going head first, you avoid crashing into this polygon first and you can just keep all that speed all the way to the flower. And again, we didn't see any team find the perfect style because the perfect style would have been Team Spef's start actually with that killer dodge to the left and then incorporating that really clean middle and also those two extra olive vaults in the end that we saw Spef doing. So all in all, a really cool event and again, really fun to see so many different styles and people choosing to do different routes. And uh, then in the end, it turned out the fastest way was actually to go down to this third drop here. And we still see Spef in the lead with team dot claiming the top three positions but Audi and Bian are not far behind so anything can still happen in the next event I haven't actually taken a look at it yet but <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be a really fun sandbox level I can't wait to play it I'll see you there next week thanks for watching